Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Max Koshu. You are watching the beautiful electronics block. I have sold a unit made by Schlumberger. Oh, this is great. Just by the way. Uh, it's this unit here. It has more than 30 kilograms in weight. So I have to uh, remove some of these plugins here. The unit is working. I have tested it. Uh, and now we will have a look inside. Let's do it. Look at that. Oh, there's one module for the one megahertz, uh, one megacycles, 100 kilocycles, 10 kilocycles, and so on. Down to 10 hertz. Also, there is an attenuator here, a German Eichleitung. And the unit is very heavy. I'm wondering why it's so heavy. But we will find out in a minute. Meine Güte! Muss das so schwer sein? Ein Teufelszeug! So, usually we have to remove this and this and then maybe we have full access let's see of course it's the Philips one yeah it's getting kind of cold here in my store we have like 15 degrees celsius which is not very comfortable wow i will go freehand one moment Look at that! We have the modules down here. Hmm. They are connected all together. This could be a TNC connector. I'm not sure. So easiest thing would be to remove the attenuator and uh, the module for the 10 hertz. I can't do a full teardown because this unit is sold and apparently, yeah, I can't, can't remove every single plate. And then my customer uh, sees problems with the module or a circuit, then it's my fault and of course, I don't want that. I also don't want to destroy any alignments uh, by opening up the shieldings or touching the cables. Other than just uh, these jumpers here. Yeah, I will try to remove uh, this jumper here. And then I think we have to go uh, down to the bottom. Because I guess... Uh, is there a connector? No, I think... Hmm, there might be something to remove on the bottom too. 1969. Wow. Could be even more complicated. Let's see. Nice detail here. Wonderful. Okay, removing the attenuator. Wow, this is heavy. Could be that, um, yeah, this is possibly enough to remove because this is so heavy. Wow! Woo! Look at that! Wow! That's art! Look at that! This is wonderful. It looks like an engine. <laughs> Crazy. That's quality. Hmm, what's this? Defect? Verdrahtung? Hmm. 
someone already opened up this here so we can have a look inside i'm sure Oh, you have to slide out this panel here before, before you can remove the top plate. Okay, we have an RF gasket. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. This is just wonderful. We see alignment screws, possibly for the impedance. We have um, special quality resistors down here. Very beautiful. And a thick layer of gold, I guess, because 1969 they have spared no expense. Wonderful. This is just excellent. And this chassis here is silver plated as well as the RF EMV gasket. Beautiful. Wow. We are now on the bottom and let's have a look inside. Nice. Wow. Beautiful. 10 hertz, 100 hertz, 1 kilo, 10, 101 mega cycles. This is amazing. Look at that. Wow, I love this picture. This could be the thumbnail for this video. This is not TNC, this is something else. This is very exotic. I haven't seen this before, to be honest. Everything is silver plated. Why silver and not gold? Because silver is a much better conductor than gold. It is better than any gold plated contact. Because for gold plating you need some more different layers uh, of metals and materials. Okay, it should slide out now. And there we go. Look at that. This is beautiful. Wow. That's a beautiful cassette. Excellent. Woo! Look at this quality. Wonderful. It's turning so smooth. Amazing. Oh, look at that. This is so shiny and beautiful. Okay, I thought about it once, I thought about it twice and I think it's okay to open up this 10 hertz uh, module. It should not be as critical as like the one mega circles uh, module. So let's have a look inside. Beautiful. Everything is gold plated here. That's unexpected. Wow. The chambers are very exciting.
beautiful absolutely beautiful the build quality here is amazing there are some passive components here i can see um, coils small capacitors so i think we have seen everything that's important wow look at that how shiny it is okay we will now have a look at the pcb top side wow mallard capacitors um, Röderstein caps or is it Siemens could be Siemens no this, this has to be Fraco or um, this has to be Fraco I guess beautiful Great quality all around. Now that I have removed these two modules, I can ship the FS30 to my customer in Italy. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please support me on Patreon. Your help is very appreciated. Thanks to everyone who already donates. If you can afford uh, $1 a month or 2 or 5 or 10, let me know. You're welcome. See you again soon. Bye. The modules are packed up here in this parcel. And the main unit is here. I think this is, uh, yeah, I think this is very safely packed up. There is this very robust rear side. It is protected uh, by the styroform here too. There's nothing needed here. Uh, if I put something in here, uh, it could produce a, a dent here. So this is not productive best thing is to leave this here open the side is protected uh, by these large styrofoam boxes the face blade is protected with the bubble wrap not just uh, one layer or so but a large lot here it is very unlikely that the instrument gets damaged that's there's so much cushing material. Yeah, and today are some parcels. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a sixth and a seventh, which I can't ship out today because of, yeah, uh, my time management isn't perfect at all.